Wara erba snin ta' ipjanaru ħafna xoħl mill-lajċi fiħdan il-komunita ta' St. Andrews Church of Scotland fil-Belt Valletta ġiet inawgurata l-organizzazzjoni Malta Microfinance. Il-President ta' Malta, Mary Louise Colero Preka, attendi tal-konċelabrazzjoni l-ħat fil-odu madin il-komunita internazzjonali u wara inawgurat l-uffiċini. Il-Malta Microfinance ija organizzazzjoni li taħseb biċtejn u tati self zajr minna jirinteressi li l-individ u li jinsabu f-qada prekarja. Tkellimna ma' Chairman Peter Lloyd. Firstly, it's been a huge encouragement having the President here today to support, to endorse what we're doing. What we're doing is really helping the poor transform their lives. Whether that poor is Maltese women or whether it's migrants, we will help them with interest-free loans to start their own business, or to go to MCAS college and get a qualification that gets a job, or if they're in accommodation that's substandard, then we'll lend them the money to move into a flat, and then they repay us, and then we lend on it again and again. Sissa din lajnuna laħet tnax il-immigrant. Obviously, we want to help as much people as we can. So far, we helped 12 people to either get a better accommodation or to help them study in order to improve their skills and find a better job. But we're expecting to touch much more people than what we already reached. Sunday, in Nigeria, the Lubzon Nainuna financier has been the course MCAST. I've been standing with MCAST for the past few months now with the help of Mota Microfinance. They gave me a loan. I used to apply for the course. So now I'm through with the course and I'm searching for a job right now, hopefully to find a job as a professional weather soon. Dan kollu sar possibli bilajnuna tal-lajċi mifruxin maddinja kolla mill-Ewropa għal Sri Lanka sal-Karibew. We have been privileged to have the President inaugurate it, but for us in the Church, we are breathing a sigh of contentment and saying four years has brought us to this. This is the day to celebrate.